Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this case, just welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about prescription lenses, what my experience is, what my deficit, if you will, visually is, and whether or not these are actually worth it. Stick around you guys because I'm going to be as black and white as I can be. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining us on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future releases that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. All right, you guys. So as we get into the video, I want to make a few things perfectly clear. Yes, VR Wave absolutely sponsored these to me. Uh, so essentially, this is a paid promotion. However, I am under no obligation to say anything. There's no scripting, nothing like that. So the uh, opinions and thoughts that you guys are going to get are mine and mine alone, as always. Uh, I will never engage with the company who tells me what I can and cannot say. Um, so want to make that perfectly clear that they were absolutely, they're like, here, try these out. Be honest. No ends of her butts, right? So first off, let's talk about my eyes. Um, I am nearsighted, nearsighted, <laughs> nearsighted, meaning that I have trouble seeing things that are very far away. Now I'm going to be a blunt again. My prescription is not particularly bad. Um, where I wear my eyeglasses is when I'm out watching TV. Um, my TV is probably 16 feet, 15 feet from the, uh, couch out there. Um, and when I drive and to give you guys some examples so that way you can understand, cause there's really no way to do a through the lens with these. So you guys are just going to have to hear my opinions and thoughts on it and, and, uh, where we go from there. Okay. So when I drive street signs, okay, I can see them from very far out, right about the same time that you can see a street light. Uh, I can see the street sign, um, but I can't read it. Okay. Uh, so what my glasses do and uh, my eye correction essentially is it gives me clarity where clarity was previously lost. Things that were fuzzy are no longer fuzzy. Now let's talk about my experience with glasses in the past, um, with virtual reality specifically. So, with the Pimax, I would say the 5K Plus was the last one that I wore, and the Oculus Rift S um, were the last two headsets that I wore that comfortably supported my eyeglasses. Um, where the Pimax 8KX, the Crystal, uh, the Varo Arrow, um, I could not comfortably wear glasses and have them not touch the lenses in VR. Um, my father has a, uh, what is it? Uh, double stigmatism, triple stigmatism, I think. He's got trifocals, I think, now, yeah. Um, and so he uh, has to have his glasses on in order to really see and enjoy virtual reality. Now, the thing about virtual reality that throws a lot of people off when it comes to glasses, even someone like myself who has trouble seeing far away, you would think, well, then why do you have problems in VR? There's no issue there. That's not true. VR replicates a three-dimensional world. Uh, so things that are farther out in the smaller dots, I actually have trouble seeing. When if you are someone like that who has trouble seeing far away and you wear glasses, but you don't wear them with VR. Um, now, I don't usually wear mine with VR, but again, because the Crystal, the 8KX, they, they don't they don't support glasses well enough to where my glasses don't hit the lenses. But previously, uh, I used to wear them all the time. Um, and it absolutely makes a difference. I want you guys to make that very clear. And if you haven't tried it yet, try it because it makes a difference. If you are farsighted, so you can, so you have trouble seeing things that are up close, you're going to see even more of a benefit. Okay. So with the headsets being designed the way they are today, and I think the idea behind it and why we don't have, oh, why we don't have that distance that we used to have, you used to have about that much distance between your eyes and the lenses, like in the old Rift S. And I think the reason why they've gotten away from that, well, because we could all see the void between, you know, we could see this, this space between our eyes and the lenses. And that sort of took away from the immersion by bringing the lenses closer to your eyes. Well, you don't see as much of the surrounding area with per peripheral vision. So you get more immersed into the virtual reality experience, but that's where these come into play. Uh, and that's where they're going to make a huge difference. So let's talk about what we're going to do next. Now that you guys have an understanding, um, I have yet to try these. Okay, you guys are going to see everything for the first time. So what I'm going to essentially do is I'm going to show you guys how we install them. They snap right in. Uh, they all come and this is from VR wave. They all come with a really cool card where you just do a QR scan with your phone and uh, it will take you to the instructions and show you how to install them. But it's very straightforward. They've done a really good job with these. Um, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to fly around for a bit and 
again, you guys will have an image on the screen. You know, you'll be able to see the sim and all that, but you're going to have to more or less just listen to me and what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. If I sound really odd and amazed, well, that's a good thing. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be up at altitude, um, probably in general aviation. I'm thinking six to 7,000 feet looking out in the city, and I'm going to be seeing if there's a difference. I have just got done with a previous flight. Um, there's no point in showing that, again, because you on camera are not going to see the benefit of these. You just have to take it from my personal thing. Uh, but I did just get done with a flight. The simulator is actually up on the screen behind me, um, sort of getting my eyes used to what I'm currently seeing now. I want to make sure that was nice and fresh. We're going to put these in we're going to go back into vr and uh, see what the experience is like so stick around first thing i'm going to show you guys is how to install them all right probably should bring my microphone a bit closer than that there we go all right and let's move the camera we're going to come over here a bit and let's see what we got here so these are really nicely packaged very nice carrying case and these are nice because they just snap out and you can pop them in and out so if you have someone for example who doesn't have because that's the thing guys in case i'm sure this goes without saying but in case there's anyone who may be younger and experienced if you do if you have someone who does not wear glasses or does not need eye correction make sure you remove your lenses because you will damage that person's eye or you yourself if you put someone else's headset on that wears glasses and has these make sure you take the inserts out or they will damage your eyes Okay. All right. There, there's, there's a safety tip of the day. All right. So let's see here. I'm gonna try to get this out without touching the lens with my fat fingers. So there we go. There it is. And each one has a nice labeling. You can see there's the R for the right eye. So we're gonna bring our trusty crystal over here. And actually, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really dirty. So let's get a microfiber towel, which is included in the box. Uh, you usually do not need to spray anything. If you do decide to spray the lenses, use something that does not have ammonia in it. Uh, stay away from Windex. Stay away from, you know, Armor All glass cleaners, things like that. Uh, you typically don't need that. It's usually just oils that build up. Like that is coming right off. Just like we do with a car. Wipe it with one side. Flip it over. Get it with the other. Take your rag or your towel. Flip it inside out so you get a nice clean side again. Watch for hairs, dog hairs, cat hair, anything like that. All right. We took the face mask off. I cleaned the lenses. They were pretty bad. And now just pop these guys into place. And that's it. I mean, they just sort of sit into place. I was expecting like a snap or something, but they're really not. Guess they don't really need to do much, do they? They don't really, go, not like they go anywhere. So there's one. And then we'll get the left eye. Okay. You know what, though? That one needs to be cleaned. Oh! Shit. All right, that was my fault. I totally pushed on it. I squeezed here, and so I popped it out. I've got hands like a gorilla. I don't really have that gentle touch that is necessary with things like this. I'd make a terrible surgeon to say the least. All right, so now let's get the left eye in. And boom, that is it. 
Cool. All right, let's get our face guard back on. All right, let's go check these out. See what kind of difference we get. All right, so let's go for a flight. Just gonna go tool around Tucson here a little bit. Now I can tell you right now, I've already noticed a difference. And I, it's one of those things that you really don't realize how much you rely on glasses until you're in this situation. But it has absolutely already done exactly what I described to you guys earlier. And remember, this is my very first time. You guys are hearing a genuine first impression. Um, it has brought clarity. Um, things are far more clear. The mountains look significantly better. Uh, this is a big difference. Sorry, I am adjusting the headset, not the glasses or the lenses. Uh, the headset is riding on my nose for some reason tonight, and I don't know why. Because I haven't changed anything, but it is riding on my nose. Anyway, I'll deal with that later. So, let's get this airplane under control before we lose it. Forgive the terrible flying. I'm not interested in flying tonight. We're just interested in looking around. So out in the distance, guys, there's a night and day difference. Um, I thought that I would be a really good test subject, if you will, or person to review this because, as I said, my prescription is not bad. I'm not someone who desperately has to have um, glasses. Um, hang on a second. I got a cough, guys. Um, I'm just not someone who usually needs a whole lot. Although, where's my city? Is the simulator tripping? Hang on a second. <laughs> my whole city is missing. Um, okay. Not sure what's going on here. But, uh, all of Tucson has disappeared. Did we finally go to war and I missed it? Let's do a restart here while we're talking. So, as I said, I've already noticed a difference. The clarity is significantly better. I am seeing things at the distance much, much better. The mountain ranges. Remember I said that I took a flight right before I put these in, and I made sure to do that for that reason. Um, mountain ranges and things like that were absolutely... Um, something still isn't right. I can see it. Anyway, mountain ranges and things like that were far more blurry around the edges. Things at distance were very, very blurry. The control tower over there was very, very blurry. You know what I just realized? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm taking off from 2 9 right, and I was expecting 1-1 left. So when I turned to the left, I was expecting to see the city. Um, yeah, there, there's nothing out there. Uh, we got exactly what I should have expected to get because my city is over there. Like, for example, there's the Lisa Frank building. There's the Davis Monthan Air Force Base Tower. Yeah, I turned to the wrong damn direction. I'm an idiot. Anyways, so climbing out, everything obviously looks much, much nicer, which is what we could expect to see from glasses. Um, hang on one second here. My, IP, my IPD got messed up. I moved it on accident. I'm going to set my head up a little bit. There we go. It is a massive difference. And it is a comfortable difference. It is the same reason why I wear my glasses when I drive and watch TV. It's not that I can't see things on the road, as I said earlier. It's not that I can't see the TV. It's just that it brings me clarity, and I have clarity in the simulator again. This is a big, big difference for me. All right, yeah. And uh, like I said, this is not placebo. This is absolutely a genuine effect. And if you guys have any uh, questions about it, you guys can, by all means, go to Google and read about it. Um, VR does absolutely require the same kind of glasses that you would need in the real world. Um, and this is a... This is very, very nice. So first off, let's talk right out of the gate. Let's start getting into final thoughts about the um, about these lenses. 
All right, you guys, so now let's talk about VR Wave. So VR Wave, you guys, offers lenses starting at right around 100 US dollars. I will have a link to their website down in the description below. They offer things like blue light filters and or scratch resistant, all the good stuff that you can get with standard eyeglass lenses you can get with the VR Wave lenses. Um, I really appreciate the feedback from the developers. Um, now, I wanna keep you guys in mind on something here or keep something in mind for you guys. I reached out to them. Okay, they didn't come to me, I went to them. And the reason why that's important is I don't want you to think that, oh, hey, this company reached out to me and so I'm just doing it for free. I reached out to them. I reached out to them for a couple of reasons. Number one, I've heard absolutely wonderful things specifically about VR Wave and their customer support, their service times, and the overall quality. Um, I, that's kicker to me. Two, uh, or the, the big one is though, is that their price point was, now the price point I will also tell you is actually rather competitive when it comes to everybody else. Uh, there are multiple different developers who uh, make VR lenses and inserts um, and the price range is about the same, doesn't really matter who you go with. So that's why those other factors came into play and why I specifically reached out to VR Wave to try to get something going with them is I've heard nothing but great things about their uh, customer service, again, the support, their turnaround time, absolutely fantastic i gave them my prescription and uh, it took about eight or nine days and i had them at my door it really wasn't bad at all um so um the experience obviously phenomenal uh there was a massive difference for me again in that clarity and and in vr i think in clarity is probably more prevalent than what happens out in the real world in the aspect that uh we already deal with not quite what the same resolution that our eyes see right so the more clarity that you can offer to the headset, the better the experience you're going to have. So if you are like myself and you don't, and you've been telling yourself, my eyes aren't that bad, I don't need them, you will notice a difference. My prescription, you guys, is again, I'm, I'm going to keep repeating this, is very light. I do not have terrible eyes. I, I'm not one of those going, you know, I can't see you, Ed, not. No, I'm not. Um, it, it, like I, I could drive without my glasses. I could fly without my glasses if I wanted to uh, and still be able to see objects out there. I've gone to air shows uh, without my glasses. What my glasses give me is clarity, not the sense of an object. And there was a massive difference in the VR experience right now uh, using the um, prescription lens inserts. So the title of the video, prescription lenses, are do you need them? And the answer is yes. I will absolutely say yes, whomever you decide. I do recommend you go with VR Wave. Again, I did my research. I, I've talked to other content creators as well, um, spoken to quite a few different people. Um, I have a friend of mine who went with somebody else, um, and we talked about the differences there. Uh, so I did a lot of research before I went straight over to VR Wave. I didn't just grab the first one that I could talk to. Um, there was actually another company that reached out to me that I won't mention a few months back uh, that I actually declined because of some of the things that I was hearing. Um, so uh, I hope that this gives you guys some insight into using prescription lens inserts. Uh, you guys saw the assembly process minus me popping out the lenses. Please don't think that that is a fault of them. I literally took that lens cap and went boop and squeezed it out. On a good note to you though, uh, something to think about that now that you look at the opposite side of that, I didn't break them. I, I literally squeezed it. Uh, I literally squeezed the, the lens and uh, and it just popped out and popped right back in. Didn't change shape. It didn't crack. The plastic was very, very flexible. So, and again, another speak to the quality of the development. And again, that could very easily be the same for multiple. I just wanted you guys to actually okay, kind of got to see that. So cool. Anyways, as always, guys, let me know your thoughts down or, or what your thoughts are down below. And uh, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.